I think I might have done one of these problems, but we'll just make another one for it. So it says A equals 1 half B times H. And what we're going to want to do for this problem is kind of think back to regular solving equations. Literal equations are going to be kind of parallel with the process that we're going to do that. So let's just work on a problem. Let's say I say 8 equals 1 half. Um, well, let's just let's do two of them. 8 equals 1 half x and 8 equals 4x. Okay? So let's do this one first. So what do you do here to solve for x? Right. Well, remember, we're undoing, right? Our whole goal is to get x by itself, right? So we need to get rid of that multiply, multiplication by 4. So we need to undo it, right? So we're going to divide by 4 on both sides. Now, over here, do we have a, num do we have a number or a letter that's multiplied by our b? Because our whole goal, we're solving for b. We want to get b by itself. So do we have a number that's being multiplied by b? H, right? So what do you think kind of parallel to solving that problem you would do with H? Divide. Right, because H is multiplied by B. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to divide by H. So now I have A divided by H equals 1 half B. Now if you remember, over here, remember we were talking about how to get rid of the fraction. Now, um, we talked about how to get rid of the fraction, especially when you have like 1 half X. You always want to multiply by the... Reciprocal. So the reciprocal here would be 2 over 1. So 2 over 1, our number times its reciprocal equals 1. 1 times x is just equal to x. 2 over 1 times 8 is 16. Right? Fair enough. So here, what do you think you're going to want to do with the 1 half b? Or no, 2 over 1. Right, 2 over 1. So therefore, again, those go to 1. So you're left with b. Let's actually write it this way. b equals 2a over h. And then I, we always like to rewrite with our variable first that we're solving for b equals 2a over h. Make sense? So when you're doing literal equations and you're kind of getting stuck, I sometimes like to write, make up my own problems that's going to kind of mock them. And then you just you can do them at the same time, too. a equals 1 half b times h, right? You don't have to, uh, the thing that uh, other thing I want to tell you about is you could do these at the same time. A lot of times what other students remember is 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3, right? Doesn't matter how you uh, order them. So I can rewrite this as a equals b times 1 half h, all right? Now, what is being multiplied by b? Uh, one, half. 1 half h, right? So you could, you could just do this at the same time. Well, instead of dividing by a fraction, we uh, multiply by the reciprocal, right? So again, you're going to get the same answer. All right? It's just a different way to do it, so different way to think of it. 2a over h. 2a over h. Yep, exactly.